Good morning, everyone. I am at the clinic. Today is the day that I get the new birth control, Paragard. And I'm honestly a little more nervous than I thought I was going to be. My stomach has kind of like felt uneasy since about like four o'clock this morning. I think I woke up around 3.30 and I was just having trouble sleeping. And I think I was just a little nervous about this. Uh, they call it a procedure. Um, I did have to take medication last night before I went to bed. And so I'm wondering if like maybe that upset my stomach and is causing my stomach to feel a little funny. But it was four pills and I had to take it all, take it with food. And it's supposed to soften the uterus so that the IUD like implants easier, I guess. Um, because I am on depo, I don't have a monthly situation going on and everybody's different. But for me, I don't have that. And so they needed me to take some medication in order to soften the uterus so that everything could go in nicely. So I am about to go in. I, I hate that I feel so nervous. Um, I've actually avoided the IUD for a while just because I'm like, oh, I don't want something going into my uterus. Like it just, it just sounded a little weird to me. So I've avoided it, but you know, like I've said previously in my videos, I need a change and I feel like getting this birth control will help. Um, I will be asking the doctor some questions regarding like nursing, milk production, weight and all of that. As far as I know, weight shouldn't be a huge factor like weight gain um, shouldn't be a huge factor with this IUD, but I just want to make sure and you know kind of see where she's been with it with her patients so um <sighs> i guess i'm gonna go in now <laughs> i hate that i feel this nervous my stomach feels so uneasy right now i have some tea with me um i just came across this tea i don't know if you guys saw on my instagram but it's called argo tea and there's only 70 calories and all the ingredients you can pronounce and you pretty much know what everything is which I love and there's only 12 grams of sugar and I usually like to drink sweet tea I forget the brand but the calories on that is like 160 so this is half and it's still good it feels so pure and fresh I love it so um I got me some tea just to kind of like calm me down hoping it would help I don't know <laughs> I don't think it has so far but um yeah so i'm gonna go in i don't think i'm gonna film in the room um because obviously there's only one way this iud can go in and i'm not really comfortable trying to even record that <laughs> that's so awkward but um here we go all right so procedure is done i'm back in the car it went really well everything went exactly like it was supposed to the medication i took yesterday worked just fine i didn't even feel a thing i'm not even kidding i did not feel a little pinch poke not anything and before we knew it I was done and I did tell them that you know I was a little nervous and they completely understood and um, I'm just glad that the medicine worked because sometimes depending on who you are the way your body is it may not work but it did for me and I'm very very happy um, the great thing is is that this birth control is good for 12 years so it's kind of like a set it and forget it kind of thing I don't have to worry about anything anymore and I did ask my questions um, as far as nursing and milk production I was told that if anything 
my production will pick up. I kind of thought that maybe it would decrease, but it looks like it may increase. And what I was told was that after, you know, you have your baby, doctors, or at least my doctor, likes to recommend getting, uh, like if you are going to get the depo after you have your baby, she recommends trying to nurse as much as you can because the depo and the hormones that come with it, it can actually slow down your milk production. So, which I don't even think I realized. So the medical assistant told me being that, okay, so a call came in in the middle of me talking. So I think the last thing I was saying was that the depo can decrease your milk supply. So my doctor likes to recommend nursing as much as you can. So you kind of get that milk production going and maybe even by nursing as much as you can, you have like a bigger supply than what you need just in case the depo were to like decrease in some way. So um, being that the Paragard has no hormones, there is a chance that my milk production can increase, which I mean, isn't a bad thing. Maybe I can like, uh, you know, save some milk later. I don't know. But, um, and as far as weight, it should be good as far as weight. Um, I shouldn't have to worry about weight gain. If anything, I may lose some weight, which is great because for my body type, the depo, whenever I'm on that, I gain weight. I don't know about you guys or if you guys know anybody with the same experience, but I gain weight. So I was told that I should be just fine with this. You know, I should get what I want out of it. So I'm happy with that. And it's finally over. I was told that it may take about two months for the depo to be gone pretty much out of my body. So I'll give that about two months and I'll keep you guys updated along the way, you know, letting you guys know how my body has reacted and how I'm feeling mentally, emotionally. Um, I think it's always nice to have a video like this because, you know, so many women, they, they're in the dark when it comes to birth control. Maybe they're too nervous to ask their healthcare provider, you know, and sometimes watching a video is just so much easier for people. So I will keep you guys updated and uh, I'm on my way to work right now. So I will see you guys a little later. Just want to give you guys a quick update now that I am right down the street from work. I am having a little bit of cramping, um, more so in my lower back, and I feel just a little bit up in my lower abdomen, um, which is to be expected because they are kind of messing with your cervix, you know, and so... I do have a little bit of cramping and I am so exhausted. I cannot believe I've been up since about 3.34 this morning. I feel like I need a nap so bad. Harley was getting pretty antsy inside, so we brought the boy out and he just took the stick away from me. I was gonna throw it for him. But yeah, look how beautiful the sky is. Oh my gosh, look at this boy. Harley. Hey. Shh, shh. Harley. Harley. So we're home now. We've actually been home for like 20 minutes maybe. And I took him for a walk down the road and then uh Daddy's home. Let's go see Daddy. Let's go see. Come on. <gasps> Genie! Boobini! Hi, Mom. 
my oh my goodness hi you are dirty and we got a barefoot soldier over there who's that we just came from walking down the road well I pushed him in this car Open he does that. Aww. This boy loves the rabbits. <laughs> I did it because I knew you were going to see. What? What you want? So, update on Paragard. I am feeling pretty good. I had mild cramping today, nothing too serious. Um, I am very tired, but that is not from the Paragard. That is because I, w I have been up that is because I have been up since 3.30 this morning. So uh, mama's ready for a bedtime. But it's beautiful out. Keegan wants to be outside, so that's what we're doing. He's making his way to the barn. You guys know why. But that is pretty much it for today i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because i keep forgetting to end the vlog and then it gets too late so i will see you guys tomorrow in the next vlog bye